This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen Thank you for joining us here at our base at Highlands Motorsport Park in Cromwell. Uh, also, a big thank you and a big welcome to everyone tuning in uh, to this on the live uh, web stream uh, around the world. So who are we? Padner Rally Sport was formed more than 12 years ago to assist my driving career. Now merged to become part of Padner Rally Sport Group, we are looking to use this as the building blocks to take this Kiwi team to the world. But our, the, the team will still stay involved with rallying with, through our current arm, uh, Padner Rally Sport. Uh, and also undertake new projects with on-track racing, particularly with the TCR car like that we have here, and customer cars, and then the new arm of PRG, AEMD. So what is AEMD? AEMD stands for Alternative Energy Motorsport Development, and we want to lead the way in this part of the world. It's clear the automotive industry is changing, and changing quickly. While the current crop of cars will always have a place in worldwide motorsport, and we will continue our involvement with them with everything we're doing here also, we need to look at the big picture. That is that motorsport needs to be in line with the automotive industry. Motorsport needs to be innovative and motorsport needs to be exciting. If we don't act quickly, we'll miss the opportunity for motorsport to remain cutting edge and current. So that leads me to why we're here today. We want to lead the way. We want to bring back some of that Kiwi ingenuity to New Zealand motorsport that existed from pioneers such as Bruce McLaren, John Britton and Bert Munro, to list a few. So I'd like to ask you to turn your attention uh, to the TV screen. Times are changing. My future is fossil fuel. Go! My future is driven by technology. Cars will never be the same. Three, two, one, go. Motorsport will change. Rally will change. But what won't change? is the thrill, the excitement of the sport I love. So who's going to be the first? The first to make a change. First to show my future. My future is a rally champion. The first to build an EV rally car. Change is coming and it's time to embrace it. We want to help lead the way from here in New Zealand and take on the world. We have big visions and we look forward to seeing you on the stages in 2020 in this very new and exciting car. So I'm very proud to announce that we are pushing the envelope and, de and developing one of the first EV rally cars in the world, set to see the stages in 2020. Our car will be based on a Hyundai Kona, and it is designed and built here in our Highlands Motorsport Park facility with one of the best test tracks and testing facilities on our back doorstep. 
utilising new technology alongside our new technical partners, Star Technologies in Austria, the potential of this car will be mind-boggling. Of course, such a project has massive engineering challenges, which we will strive to overcome. While in rally specification, the power of this car will be dictated by range and distance as required. However, at its peak and short style events, this four-wheel drive car will be capable of over 600 kilowatts of power, with torque levels not even possible from an internal combustion car. Also, as you'll see from our scale model, we've been working closely with the students of UCM from Canterbury University to create an aero package that provides sufficient downforce, but also being efficient enough to reduce the drag to save energy. The way of thinking with all elements on this car is different, but it's something that our young team is striving and embracing. One aspect of particular importance to me with this project is that our car is going to make noise, and it's going to make a lot of it. It won't be the same sound that we currently identify with an EV car, and it's something that we're working on that will be quite unique. For many reasons, motorsport needs to have an element of sound. One of the biggest challenges why we haven't seen many EV rally cars in the world yet is the nature of our sport that takes us over a widespread area over the duration of a day. So the first obstacle that creates is with battery range and duration. But this is why New Zealand is the perfect place to develop technology, as the compact nature and competitive friendly environment of events means it is possible for a car to compete here in a full length rally. Safety is also another aspect that we need to work on and we're working very closely with Motorsport New Zealand to establish some new guidelines in the future of EV cars and motorsport. I'd like to invite our PRG team uh, to the front. Like any form of motorsport, it's a massive team game, and this couldn't be more true with our small but extremely dedicated team. A huge thanks to Matt, Ben, Jack, Rory, Mike and Vanessa, who have already committed a lot to this project, and we work tirelessly to ensure the success of not only this project, but all the projects we have moving forward. I know we have some of the smartest minds involved in what we're doing here, and this gives me massive pride and confidence in what we are doing. Another key part to such a project is our commercial partners. Both Hyundai New Zealand and our power, power company partner, Yes Power, have played a huge role in helping this vision come to reality. But also our technical partnerships with Stard uh, Technology, University of Canterbury and Callaghan Innovation Group are key to this project. These partnerships are not only the key for this, but this vision, but also the growth of what we're doing moving forward. The idea of this EV rally car started in 2017 with planning started in early in 2018, but in late 2018, the company and personnel started to take shape here in Cromwell to where we are today. We're already well in, underway with the project, and we hope to have this car on the stages by the end of quarter one next year. So it's going to be a very busy eight months ahead of us, but we're committed to meeting those deadlines. Next year, we'll be focused on performance and reliability development, while in 2021, we'll look forward to tackling a full rally championship. The future is now, and this car is going to be seriously fast, noisy, and it will be spectacular. I'd also like to ask like-minded motorsport fans to not be too quick to judge such a car. Rally and motorsport is my life, and I'm committed to ensuring that we tick all the boxes with this car. Before I open the floor to questions, uh, I'd like to ask some of our key partners uh, to the stage for a quick work, and I'd like to welcome one of our newest partners, uh, David Grader from Yes Power. Um, yeah, I'm David Grater, Managing Director of YesPower. Uh, YesPower is a privately owned uh, New Zealand electricity retailer and uh, I guess we approach the market um, looking to make a change in the electricity market and how we want to do that is by opening up the market, opening up the market to organisations, communities and businesses and working with them to create innovation, support networks. So when I was first introduced to Hayden and um, he told me about his vision and I could see the level of um, ambition that he has and the focus and the drive. Uh, your book's very well titled, by the way. Um, we wanted to jump on board, without a doubt, and I'm extremely excited to be part of this and to create a platform that enables all of Hayden's supporters to directly support uh, this project and to support another New Zealander taken on the world stage. So thank you very much for the opportunity and um, 
yeah, we look forward to seeing where this can go and jump on board with uh, this whole project um, because the more supporters that come on board, the better it's going to be for everyone. So thank you. Thanks, David. And finally, I'd like to invite on behalf of Motorsport New Zealand, uh, the governing body of our sport here, uh, Norman Oakley. Uh, thanks, Hayden. Um, Hayden has uh, demonstrated to us all over and over that he is the New Zealand's best ever rally driver. He still has unfinished business at the highest levels of the sport, and we are sure that further success awaits him in the WRC. However, today proves he's, he's multifaceted. Um, motorsport has always been used to push the boundaries of new technologies. With features introduced and proven in the white hot heat of competition, finding their way through to our family cars and mobility in general. And today's environment with uh, the technology landscape changing right around the world, alternative energy sources have to be part of the motorsport mix. We know that manufacturers are spending large sums of money in Formula E and hybrid technology in Formula One and in the WRC in about three years' time. But of all the motorsport disciplines, rallying is one of the most challenging for developing new technologies. As, the, as cars are driven in all conditions in remote locations and different temperatures ranging from minus 30 degrees in Finland to plus 40 degrees in the deserts of Mexico. New Zealand has a long history of innovation, not only in motorsport, um, but generally, and we are a small, technologically astute country, and having been able to do things quickly and um, without the bureaucracy of large corporations. So this is an ideal opportunity to develop world-leading technology. This exciting project follows, as Hayden says, in the footsteps of Bruce McLaren and John Britton, and Motorsport New Zealand fully endorses it. Thank you. Thanks, Norman. And uh, thank you for everyone for your attention today. Um, this is a, a hugely exciting time, uh, and we need to embrace that change is happening. And I promise you, for one, that this car will be nothing short of spectacular when you see it out on the stages. Before I open up the floor to questions, I'd like to thank all our live stream viewers around the world for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you on an event soon. I'll close by saying we obviously have several projects on the go at once, and uh, one of particular interest I know to a lot of people is WRC, and we certainly haven't given up. Uh, we hope we'll have some more news for that on the, in the next few weeks, and uh, we hope to be back over there soon. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much, and good afternoon. <laughs>